Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad for another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 5, chapter 8, lesson 5. Least common multiple. Okay. Uh, in this lesson, guys, for example, if you have uh, three numbers, 3, 4, and 6, and they want you to find the least common multiple, first of all, you will write the multiples of all the three numbers. Okay. If you have four numbers or five or whatever, two numbers only, depends. You will write all the multiples. Okay. And then you will choose the least one. You can only write till 12. When you find something common in all of them, you can stop there and you will find the least one. So the least one which is common in all of them is 12, 12, 12 and 12. So the 12 is the least common multiple of 3, 4 and 6. LCM, we use this term for least common multiple. Multiples for the multiples. We write the multiples 3 times 1, 3, 3 times 2, 6, 3 times 3, 9, like that. Okay. So first of all, we will write all the multiples, okay, until we find a common one. So that is the least common multiple. Okay, there is another way of finding least common multiple using the prime factorization, like we were using it in the greatest common factor. Okay, here in this question, they want us to find the least common multiple of 15 and 40. So first of all, you will find the prime factorization. How to find the prime factorization? You break the numbers. You think that in which two factors we can break it. 3 times 5 gives you 15. Similarly, now you cannot break it more, so you will stop here. You go to the next number, 40, 4 times 10. Okay, we can break 4 more, 2 times 2, and 10 more, 2 times 5. So the prime factorization of 15 is 3 times 5 and 40 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. Now if we are finding the GCF, what we do, we just choose the common one. That is GCF, the greatest common factor. But this time we are finding the LCM. So first of all, we will choose the common one. Okay, we finish the common one. Now we will write the remaining all also. So what left? 3 times 3. I write 5 only one time because we choose it as common. And now I'm writing the remaining all numbers. Times 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, equals what? 5 times 3, 15. 15 times 2, 30. 30 times 2, 60. And 60 times 2. 120. So the LCM of 15 and 40 is 120. And the GCF of 15 and 40 is just 5. Okay, similarly here, guys, they multiply them, all of them here, in 120. Uh, they're finding by the first way, write the multiples of 6, then 10, and then choose the common one, common one in both of them, the least common one. Okay, you will find more commons here, like when you read 60, that is also common, but you need the least one, 3 and 4, so which one is common, 12 is common. Okay, here guys, you can find using the prime factorization or using the uh, multiples method, right? The multiples of 2 and then 13 and then choose the least one or you can use the prime factorization. Okay, here, when you are, if you are using the prime factorization and you are using, uh, you are finding for three numbers, let's say 4, 8, 10, so 4 will be 2 times 2 8 will be, you break it, 2 times 4, then we can break 4 more, 2 times 2, and we bring this 2 down as it is, okay, and the last one is 10, you break it 2 times 5. Now, 
first thing you will choose the common in all okay this two two and two so two is common in all of them now is there any other number which is common in all the three numbers no now you will see if there is any common number which is common in any two of them okay in GCF we were not looking for this but for LCM when you're finding the LCM of three numbers you also look for the common in two of them in any two of them like see this here two is common here and here there's no extra two but it is common in these two numbers so we will also take it as common anything else common in two of them no and now we will write the remaining numbers 2 and 5 multiply 2 multiply 5 equals what 40 I hope you guys understand if you missed something you can rewind the video and uh, watch it again Okay, John goes to the bowling alley every three weeks. Percy goes to the bowling alley every five weeks. Now, see, guys, this is a real example of uh, LCM. Like, we are not finding it for uh, just for math. You can use it in real life. Like, for example, any guy, he is going for bowling every three weeks, and the second guy is going for bowling after every five weeks. So, if they start together, when they're gonna meet again so you'll find the LCM of 3 and 5 so you can find in this way or using the prime factorization it's 15 so they're gonna meet at 15th week again a full moon occurs about every 30 days if the last full moon occurred on a Friday how many days will pass before a full moon occurs again on a Friday so from Friday to Friday in between there are seven days and a full moon occur about every 30 days so you'll find the LCM of 30 and 7 here we use the we find it using the prime factorization 3 times 2 times 5 and 1 times 7 there's nothing common so you multiply all of them so you'll get 210 days so if the first full moon is on Friday, after 210 days, the full moon will be on Friday. Marina is finding the LCM of 6 and 8. Help find and correct her mistake. 2 times 3, this is the common one. So you will not choose uh, 1, 2, 3, no, not 3 choose and this three okay so the two is the common one so you write it two here and then the remaining numbers three two two three two and two that is equal to 24 you will not say that only two is the multiple okay Two is common so it is the GCF it is not the LCM so the least common multiple of 6 and 8 is not 2 it's what it's 24 okay and then they want you to find the LCM of 6 8 and 14 which is 168 you can find it here uh, write a real world problem here is the real world problem guys and this is some explanation I hope you guys understand the lesson. If you really understand, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel. Learn math with Mr. Saad and also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Thank you so much guys. Have a nice day.